Hey everybody, uh, my name is Chris Humphreys, I'm from Orbital Net, and I'm here to talk about using GNS3 with uh, Ramon and Cloud Tidy Drista. But that's not sh one second, sorry. There we go. Right. So who am I? I'm the technical lead for Orbital Net FeeFast. Uh, we are a UK uh, wireless ISP, but also do lots of other stuff as well. Uh, I'm a consultant for MicroTik as well, and I've got an MC, CNA, RE, and INE. As I said, I work for Orbital and VFast, multitude of services that we offer fiber, wireless, lease lines, FTTC, fiber to the cabinet, fiber to the home now in new built houses, um, and soon fiber to the premise, thanks to BT Openreach as well. Uh, we've got direct handoff in exchanges all around Kent, in the, the lovely area of Kent. Um, and we offer redundancy, VoIP, much of other things, and there's our AS as well, so if you're looking for another peering provider, someone to peer with, um, we can peer in London and many telephone exchanges. So, GNS3. Um, I've been with Orbital for three years, and before I started there, I hadn't even known what MicroTik was. Um, learning pretty fast. Uh, and GNS3 was a great way to get a few networks in a, in a simulator, play around with stuff, break it, start again, break it, and then get it working. But the first time I had a go at this on this trusty laptop, it took me around an hour, an hour and a half to get it from, I want to get this working, to, right, I've got a, I've got a uh, router in, I've got some config on it. Whereas today, um, I could probably get up and running in 10, 15 minutes. It's really, really simple. So Cloud Hosted Router, introduced in 2015. A great number of tiers with a free version, one gig limit, 10 gig limit, and unlimited. It's really accessible now that you can just get this downloaded, stick this in a VM, get it up and online, and within five minutes, again, you've, you've got a VPN server in the cloud, you've got a test bed in your network, um, and this being an Ultrabook, um, it runs it really well. You get everything you get from Ritter OS, um, so you can do BGP, OSPF, everything you can think of. You can log into Winbox, you simple upgrades on the license. It's really, really flexible. And, and as I was saying earlier in the, in the first presentation, um, it's so flexible, and I've used it on AWS, uh, VirtualBox, and Q, uh, QEUM, but again, you can use it on loads of different things. Uh, and the great use for this as well, earlier in the year at the European MUM, uh, IP architects were showing how they were getting around the limitation, the root OS of BGP working on one core. So instead of putting a cloud core in their network um, and terminating all their uh, customers on one cloud core, every time they had a new BGP user, they just spun up a new VM in their data center, new customer on that, um, and for $45, they got it all set up and working in a few minutes. So it's really flexible. And Roman makes it even easier now. Whereas before, when I was doing this um, with x86 and manually typing in license keys, everything was CLI, which helped me learn the CLI. But also, it's nice every so often to use Winbox and use things that are more gooey and, and, and nice, uh, and especially for troubleshooting when you've broken something. So now, Roman, you can just switch this thing on, one command, and you've, it doesn't even have no, any other config on it, but you can get a, through, a route through your network, through your cluster, through your lab, to get to the router. I've used this as well in our uh, production environment. I've got a new CCR at the box, I've plugged it in, I've given it a name, an identity, and I turn Rome on it, and I said, right, engineer, new lease sign customer, plug it in, off, configure it when you've done it. I've got full Winbox access, gong, 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 click a few buttons, and it's all working. Really, really amazing how no other vendor that I've seen has this thing of plug it in and you can get to it, whatever it's got on it, and you can get it configured. It's a really annoying having to configure something. The engineer plugs it in and goes, oh, it's not working. But with this, configure it on site, and it's really, really easy. So you've got a you can get secure layer two for a physical cable connection for a tunnel with ping, SSH, and full Winbox, and it will discover as I'll show you later, it'll discover and do all the routes so that you could have 
30 routers deep and it will work out the best route. And if a, if a link goes down in between, your primary link goes down, just like OSPF will reroute the, uh, the traffic, Raymond will work out a different route to get around the different parts of your network to get to the route you're looking for. It's really useful. Uh, this slide shows my home setup at home. So I've got a little 750. I've got two feeds into my house. I've got a fiber to cabinet line, FTTC, and I've got a WiMAX connection. Just because I use it so much, I wanted that reliability and backup. If one goes down, I've got the other one. And 750, I've got my own stub area, um, and then a 3011 rack mount to my main router. So I've got mine set up now that I roam on into the uh, 750, and it shows all my, all my other devices in my network. Um, so without this before, I wouldn't, from sitting at the office, I wouldn't be able to get, unless I've got a public IP inside, or I'm routing stuff outwards, which is not really great, um, I would not get to my power box on my cloud switch. Well, I can now. Really, really nice. So someone says, someone calls me from home, and I'm at work going, uh, the internet's not working, or I plug something in, it's not working. Two seconds later, boom, you've plugged it in the wrong port. There you go, plug it in. I can see it all, and it's all uh, working. So the main crux of the talk will be um, part of the demo I'll show you in a second, which is running GNS3 on Windows 7 with a loopback, CCR, and ROM on. Uh, and you're, everything's Winbox. Everything's amazing. And you can just configure how you like and not have to use a CLI. For many beginner users that are learning um, Microtik, uh, the Winbox with this can be such a great tool just to get your network configured, play with it, break it, and then get it working how you like. So, this is the example topology that I've got. As you can see in the top right, um, that was when I bring up a router in this, in this uh, configuration, all I've done is I've put the identity in and I've enabled Roamon. So, it's tools, Roamon, set, enable equals yes, and you've got Roamon running. I've connected to Roamon on the Edge router, uh, which is the only one that I've got connectivity from from my laptop. Uh, and then you can see all the ones inside, and it says the cost and the path. Right, time for a demo. Okay, so here is GNS3. And I'll show you in the slide. So I've got an edge router and then four core routers inside and then a switch connecting them together as well. So that's what, one, two, five routers. And I've also got a VM running for another part of the demo. And because I'm running this all natively on the machine, the latency to is, is really low. I've tried this while this also can work um, on my work machine, which is also a Mac, I'm running it in a, in a visualization, and the latency is a bit higher. Um, it's great that you can get, and it's really quick, really quick latency, um, and a lot better than back in the days when you used it on x86, where latency would be hundreds of milliseconds, and you'll click a button and you'd wait five seconds, right, it's done it now, and then click the next thing, and then the next thing. We're now a lot lower latency, and you get on and get the job done. So. What I'm going to do now okay so in this network all I'm going to do for the demo is I'm going to bring in a new machine I'm going to connect it to my network with one cable to the switch and I'm going to get it adapted into my uh, into my uh, OSPF so it's got the roots so configure So, an Ethernet on there, into the switch, and uh, I'm going to start the VM. Okay, so I'll take a couple of seconds to, to do that. So, as I showed, you can see at the moment, this is what it's showing at the moment. I'm connected to Roman on the edge, and there's the four machines that I have. So we'll just give that a second to boot the VM. Okay. 
There we go. So what I'm going to do is go system iden set name call five tools roam on set enabled. Yes. And now automatically straight away. It's in the list. Connect. And boom. That simply, I've got a new VM, new new connection. And I can see I plugged it into E for one. So we'll create a quick bridge. I will stick an IP on the bridge. So Okay, root in, OSPF. Okay, give that a second. Ah, uh, that'd be why. Okay, and we're all linked. So very quickly, you can add a new rear engine network, get it all linked up, and be playing with BGP and uh, OSPF. So let's now take it to the next level. So now we have a the edge router that's running BGP. And thanks to the fantastic guys at IP Architects, this is now connected to the, the VM that's in the... So this VM is running uh, uh, Ubuntu, and it simulates all the routes in a routing table. So if we flick back over. Do -do -do -do. So now, my lab also has it will have a full written table. So that's how easy, in a couple of minutes, you can... And this VM, all I did was drag it in, link it up to the switch, uh, set an IP on the, uh, uh, on the box. It's one command in this VM to set the IP, what AS I'm using, and I've got a full, full BGP link, and uh, over a thousand IPs now, and it's a uh, thousand subnets, and it's still joining. We'll just stop that. So, it's that easy. And that is my talk. Any questions?
Ahí vamos a que más cuando viene. And that's using Rome on the CHR with Genesis 3. It's very simple. Anyone can pick this up and have this running on a, I say, a Windows 7 laptop in 10, 15 minutes. Um, with those who know low knowledge, um, there's guides for this online as well. But again, um, any questions come find me. I'll be around the, around the mum. If anyone has any questions, no. Sure. Yes. Mm. Yes. Um, in the first time, uh, to, to get it working with a license, you'd have to manually type the license key in, and you couldn't just copy paste. So, and you have to type it in, in correctly. And if uh, one thing I found is, if you type one digit wrong, you couldn't just backspace. You have to enter it and it go wrong, and then you start again. So, you, uh, fat fingers, you might have to do it a couple of times. But that, and also. Uh, Genesis 3 has come a long way as well in the fact that before um, you'd have to uh, install everything separately. Well, now with Windows, it's really simple. One installer, you, you press the button, it installs everything you need, um, and it's much quicker. So now it's running, it's running full 64-bit. This is a 64-bit laptop with 8 gig of RAM. Um, and the only time the CPU was spiking, it, was, it will spike when you boot a VM, and it will spike when I'm running, um, running the, the, the Linux uh, VM, which is running all the, all the BGP. Um, but again, I've, I've run a simulation this with 30, 40 routers on this, on this machine, um, and it runs fine. Absolutely fine. This is a MacBook Air. It's not a performance machine. It's more of a sort of travel machine. Um, with an i7, it works really well. So. Any other questions? No? Okay, cool.